Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a video on layered perfumes or layered fragrances. So I will have timestamps below because I do want to go over the company a little bit, what they sent me, the packaging. So if you want to skip over to the perfumes or if there's a specific perfume you want to look at, go ahead and go in the description box. I will have timestamps listed below. So I know that there have been quite a few layered fragrances videos recently on YouTube and I guess this company is just really wanting to get their name out there and I have been interested in purchasing from layered fragrances after I watched several YouTubers that I enjoy watching. I had watched a couple from Demi Rawlings as well as Mila, Sarah Mays, and I will link their videos below. And after watching their videos, it actually piqued my interest and I had started looking into layered fragrances. And then I had posted my perfume collection video. They left me a comment saying they wanted to send me some perfumes to review. And I was over the moon. I am I am a very baby <laughs> YouTuber. I haven't even hit 1K yet. So when I got that, I got so excited. I like text my mom and my sister and I was just super excited. But I, I want to go ahead and read what they wrote. In regards to details, we don't ask that you say anything specific. We simply would like you to be you and completely unbiased about our fragrances. We want every review to be genuine. For that reason, we don't like to make you say certain things about our fragrances. And I was like, yes, sign me up. I, I appreciate that. That speaks volumes about this company. So about their company. So this is straight from their site. Based out of Los Angeles, we value unique self-expression. We create exotic single scent fragrances for you to mix and match your own creation. I guess you could compare them a little bit to like maybe Jo Malone, you know, Jo Malone, which is a very expensive perfume company where they just do like simple notes that you can layer on top of one another. Now I have tried Jo Malone. I've gotten samples as well as I've gotten their traveler scents. They are very pricey. So I, I do like to get like their sets. But I really enjoy the Jo Malone scents. And that's kind of like how they are in the sense of they have like their single notes that you can layer and make your own creation. I will say that the lasting power on these are better than Jo Malone. They also do original blends that's like their own creations as well as inspired perfumes which they smell like say a popular niche or designer perfume. So as for pricing, I do find these perfumes to be more affordable. Affordable is something that is different to every person. I am a very cheap person. I live for the thrill of getting a sale. Like that is my thing. And when I actually was researching the company before they reached out to me, I signed up for their emails and they were already sending me discount codes. So on top of them being more affordable, you know, they hit that sweet spot that I like. They are more affordable than designer and niche. I would say for sure with their 10 mil being $24.95 comes in this really pretty like travel and then their 55 mil which is a 1.8 ounce being $53.95 which is a pretty good size. So I would say this is a more affordable brand for sure but you know you can definitely smell good for even less. I like to shop testers and I like to shop celebrity fragrances now that celebrities are coming out with better fragrances. So there definitely are cheaper options but these are more affordable in comparison to other like niche and designer brands. And again, enter your email into their site and you will get discount codes. Also, if you like certain YouTubers, I believe they have their own codes. I didn't get a code, but you can get an additional like, you know, 15%. So now let's go into the packaging. So it comes in this really pretty squared minimalistic glass with this really pretty, I don't know if this faux wood or wood wood top. And then each one of the fragrances comes in this beautiful uh, like pouch, which I think is super pretty with the logo layered. And if you go on their site, which I will have linked below, it's actually B layered. Like the site is called B layered, but I believe they are just layered fragrances. I just think the packaging is super pretty. So when I was looking on their site, I wanted to purchase their sampler set and I will put a picture of their sampler set here. They have two different kinds, but I believe it was just like a $10 difference. So I would definitely suggest doing the, the seven samples 
that come in the five mil because you can really test out the perfume and see if you like it. And the five mils are a pretty decent size. Here is a five mil. These are a little bit bigger than your traditional samples. So let me pull out like a sample. This is the layered and then this is just like a sample of like Burberry. You see how much more you're getting in that? And let me go back real quick. So after you make your first purchase, you should get like a link to their Facebook page, which is a closed group, but once you request access, you know, they should grant it to you. I do believe you have to make a purchase. I'm not 100% sure. But once you get access to their Facebook page from there, you will be a part of their fragrance community and people who talk about what they're wearing for the day. People talk about what they're layering with other scents, what they're creating. It's really fun. They do giveaways. So definitely something you want to check out. I think this company's really innovative very like today with their Facebook and their social media. We're gonna get into the perfumes next, but I kind of wanted to go over like the company, what they're about. I can tell you I enjoyed these perfumes. All the perfumes that I'm gonna talk about, I got about six to eight hours worth of wear. Some of them do sit closer to the skin. There are three I'm going to mention that the sillage are impeccable, as well as the scent pretty much last all day and on into the next day. So there are some scents in here that are gorgeous. Now with, with any perfume house, there are scents that did not work out for me. So I will go over those. Just because it did not work out for me doesn't mean it will not work out for you. And there are some scents that I love, there's some scents that I like, and there's some scents that I just did not like. So let me go over what was sent to me. I got three full size bottles and I got, I got the scents, fuck me, that's right. Paris Nights and First Kiss. And then in their 10 mil, I got Dark Temptation and Geneva Chocolate. And then in their 5 mil, I got Little Black Dress, Love Potion, Eve's Parfums, Mia's Blend, and Vanilla Dream. I'm going to go into 5 scents in depth. And then I'm going to go through the other 5s really quick and then do a follow-up video just because... They did send me a lot. They were very, very generous with the amount of perfumes they sent me. That's another thing. Their customer service is really great. Very friendly. Now let's go ahead and go into the scents. So I'm going to go in the order that I wore them. So the first scent that I am going to be talking about is... <sighs> Fuck me. This perfume opened up very bright and pretty. And at first spray, like I would say the first hour, I asked Dennis to smell me. He did have to get a little closer to me. So this one does sit a little closer to the skin. And he said that this was a very pretty smell, but he's, he's smelled it before on me. Like I, he says, I have something in my collection that smells similar. So I will say that this is a very pretty everyday scent. If you want to go ahead and just pick a set out that is kind of safe, I would say this is the scent to get, which is weird because with a name like that, you would think that this wouldn't be, but this scent also develops throughout the day. So let me go ahead and read off the notes. This has mandarin, vanilla, jasmine, ginger, ambergris, and sandalwood. When this opens up, it opens up with that bright jasmine and mandarin, and then maybe a little zest with the ginger, and then it dries down, and to me, that's where I get that vanilla and sandalwood. So this is a very pretty scent. I would say it's a little bit more safe. I would say this is more like make love to me. Like when I think of this scent, this isn't a fuck me scent. This isn't a fuckable scent. This is a very make love to me scent. Also, if you go on the sites, the way that they describe these scents are perfect. So day two is my favorite scent. I'm just gonna say that right now. And that is First Kiss. And this is supposed to be inspired by Delina Parfums de Marley. And this scent, I've never smelled Delina and I've always been intrigued by it, but that is a $200 to $300 scent depending on where you look. I've managed to find it on Fragrance Net for like under 200, but that's still just a little tough for me. But I was able to pick up a travel size scent and I picked that scent up just because of this perfume. I don't know how close these scents are to each other. I will definitely do a follow up on that, but I can tell you that this scent is gorgeous. The sillage on this is beautiful. You will definitely leave a room 
and someone will walk in after you and be like, what is that? What is that set? This, this is a beautiful set. It projects. My husband could smell this perfume. When I sprayed this, it opened up very spicy, but like exotic. It was warm, musky, powdery, girly. So many things going on in this little bottle. And it is by far one of my top perfume scents in my collection, which is why I needed to know what Delina smelled like. Like I went in a search for something small that I can pick up. And once I get that in my hands, I will definitely follow this video up. Whether this smells like Delina or not, if it does, it's only $53.95. You could probably get a, a coupon code. And if it doesn't smell like Delina, then I don't care because this perfume is gorgeous. I'm so happy that they sent me a full-size bottle of this. And the notes on this one are rhubarb, lychee, nutmeg, Turkish rose, peony, petalia, vanilla, cedar, vetiver, cashmere, musk, and incense and I think it's the incense where I just get that spiciness but then it has all these other beautiful notes that just come together it blew my mind I haven't had a perfume do that since Lancome Tresor La Nuit like I have a very small handful of perfumes that just absolutely blow my mind and this is among those perfumes I do want to do a video of powerhouse perfumes that will blow your mind just because this perfume blew my mind and this again is first kiss all right so the last of my full-size bottles this one did not work out for me so this is paris nights and this is inspired by mongerlan Guerlain. now i've smelled mongerlan in stores and it's actually a perfume that i have on my wish list which i've already filmed that video and i'm editing it that video should be coming out very soon i'm a little nervous now just because i did not like paris nights and i have heard people say that you don't smell it at first but mongerlan is in there so there is a note in here that is very sour to me and very like tangy it reminds me a little bit of like the margarita mixer and it's just it's not a note that sits well on my skin i really don't like it so i last weekend these full size scents i brought them over to my sister's house because my mom was cooking breakfast for me my sister and my brother and i wanted them to test these perfumes out and my mom really enjoyed this scent but I didn't. But I'm gonna go ahead and read off the notes because if you like Mongerlan, you're familiar with it. Also, if you like these notes, this might work for you. But this has Tahitian vanilla, lavender, coumarin, iris, Australian sandalwood, jasmine sambac, bergamot, benzoin, Victorian licorice, earthy patchouli, and soft rose. I do smell vanilla in here, but it is overpowered by, again, something very sour. And I do smell like a soapiness, which I have mentioned. Whenever I smell like a soap in perfumes, it's usually stuff that has lavender in it. From the bottle, I really like this scent. It's very pretty, but on my skin, it does not play well. It just doesn't. I love patchouli, but I don't get the patchouli in here either. This one didn't work for me. My mom, again, enjoyed it. She did spray it on her skin and she left it on and she liked this one. My sister didn't like this one. She liked it again, like me, from the bottle. But when she sprayed it, she didn't like this one. My brother said this one was okay. First kiss was in everyone's first place, except my husband. I will let you know what his first place is. But everyone loved first kiss. When I went over there, I was wearing Mia's Blend. And Mia's Blend I did get in a small bottle. It opened up very bright and soft, powdery, but there was a spicy note underneath it all. Very pretty scent. I do enjoy Mia's Blend. As you can tell, it's pretty much done. This one also develops changes throughout the day. So this one opened up again very bright and pretty. And then it dried down to a very like warm and cozy scent. The notes on this one were myrrh, tonka bean, vanilla, lavender, and almond. So I think in the opening, I get the myrrh and the lavender. It's like a soapiness to it. And then the myrrh, I think is like that spice that I get. On the dry down, I get the tonka bean, the vanilla, and the almond, which is like that warmer, cozier scent. So then the next day, I went to the movies with my mom and my sister and we saw Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. And now this will forever remind me of that movie and that is Dark Temptation. I love this perfume. My husband does not. 
because for him it's felt too masculine. I do not get that at all when I smell this. So this opened up very deep and rich and like it has a very like nice chocolate scent to it but like dark chocolate like expensive chocolate the notes on this are rose oud saffron vanilla and some woodsy notes and this is just a very deep sensual scent i think this is a great date night scent if you know someone who likes deep scents again my husband does not this is inspired by lancome oud bouquet and that it was another scent that was on my wish list video so you're gonna hear me mention it and I filmed my wish list video before I filmed this one but I really wanted to get this video up I don't know if I'll ever add that one in because I believe that one's discontinued but this one's so good I sprayed this perfume like around three and then went to go meet my mom and my sister at the theaters my husband came home from work at six and this lingered my notes literally say I will be adding a full bottle to my collection and then I have a little asterisk that says, well, maybe not. Dennis doesn't really like this scent. So I will probably keep a small one and wear it to work because honestly, this is gorgeous. And not that I, you know, I only wear scents he likes, but I do like to smell nice around my husband. And if he doesn't really like a scent, I won't wear it around him. I might wear it to work or when I go out with my sister. So this is definitely not a scent for him. It's a scent for me, but I really do like this. This is Dark Temptation. Once I went through the first five, I started testing out the other ones. Before I did that, I went back to Paris Nights and I didn't like it. So I tried to layer and I put Geneva chocolate to see if maybe the nice chocolate smell would maybe smooth out that tanginess, but no, <laughs> the bomb that I created. I washed it off immediately finally when I felt like I got it off enough I put on um, love potion and our living room and breakfast area they like flow together we have vaulted ceilings so it's very hard to get a scent like you have to kind of come into my dressing room or my master bedroom and usually that's when my husband can smell me but I was outside on the other side of the counter and he's like what are you wearing and I'm like I'm wearing love potion he goes, you have that perfume, right? And I'm like, no, this is one of the new ones I got. And I'm like, why do you like it? And he's like, no, it smells good, but I, I've smelled it before. And this perfume, Love Potion, is inspired by Carolina Good Girl. And I do own Carolina's Good Girl. I love that perfume. I love the bottle. But if you do not want to pay Carolina Herrera's Good Girl price, and you are okay with skipping out on that perfume bottle or maybe you like the scent but it doesn't last on you because I've heard that I would definitely pick up love potion I'm not gonna go into details because I'm gonna follow this up because I do want to wear these scents I hate saying this Dennis has smelled Carolina Herrera's good girl but it's usually in the cab of his truck smaller confined area so I do think this might have a better projection I do want to test these out more and do a follow-up I love Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, so sexy. It could be the stiletto heel that has me biased, but this one might be a stronger, slightly more projecting version of it, but I will follow it up. Another one that I wore was Little Black Dress, and this is supposed to be a dupe or inspired by YSL's Black Opium. I didn't get that. I got it like in the opening, but these two perfumes dry down very differently i find black opium to dry down a little bit more warmer more cozy this stays bright pretty much throughout so you might like this one if you like black opium but maybe too many people around you wear it i don't get that i hear that all the time in the fragrance community i don't i smell other perfumes more but if wherever you're from maybe you like ysl black opium but want to smell a little different they smell very similar at the opening but i think black opium dries down more rich and i love these names like uh first kiss paris nights uh, love potion little black dress super adorable and i do want to follow these inspiration perfumes because i am planning on getting mongrelan and I have YSL and I have Carolina and I'm getting Delina soon. Okay, then next up, Eve's Parfum. This one did not work out for me. This is a very clean floral set, very green. So if you like floral scents, 
you might really like Eve's Parfum. Unfortunately, floral scents give me headaches. But this is a very pretty, it's like very like vintage to me, but not like, like an old lady vintage. I don't even like saying old lady because my grandma does not smell bad. But a very like just vintage, very like old classy scent. But again, very floral. I like floral notes in my perfumes, but I don't care for a very floral scents. But if you do, you will really enjoy Eve's Parfum. This is inspired by Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And then last, I wanna go over the single notes that I received. So I did receive Vanilla Dream in a 5ml, as well as Geneva Chocolate. <sighs> Both of these are absolutely divine. So I did tell them the kind of scents that I like. And I had mentioned that I like gourmand scents. So they did send me single notes of their Vanilla Dream and their Geneva ch Chocolate. And they are so yummy. I think these are very pretty on their own. So I think these two together might actually be really nice. So I do want to test that out. I will be picking up their sampler set. I, I, I'll put a picture again. I'm also uh, signed up for their new perfume that's coming. So they have two new perfumes coming. One is supposed to be like inspired by La Vie Belle. So I think it's Cia La Vie. Oh, Cia La Vie. This is supposed to be inspired by Lancome La Vie Belle, as well as they have, and I've already put my email so that I could be notified, and that is First Kiss Exclusive. And you guys already know that I fell in love with First Kiss, and First Kiss Exclusive is inspired by Parfums de Marly, Delina exclusive. So I'm really excited about that. I mean, honestly, guys, I enjoy this company. Again, like any perfume house, not everything worked for me. There, you know, there are some things that I loved, and there are some things that I liked, and there are some things that I dislike. I would say that I absolutely loved First Kiss and Dark Temptation, as well as Love Potion. Even though I own Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Love Potion, is a very beautiful scent. These are also the scents that to me leave behind a scent trail, a sexy scent trail. They project, they will definitely get you noticed. Okay, so instead of, you know, passing everything on to my mom or my sister because, you know, I have some scents set aside that I am going to be giving them. You know, my mom's like, well, you know, you could give these to other people and the family and whatnot. So since I'm not at a thousand yet, but I'm pretty close. And if you've made it to the end of this video and you live in the United States, I'm sorry, only United States, only because it's fragrance and fragrance is very hard to ship anywhere outside. You know, it's very expensive. But if you live in the United States and you are interested, now you have to only pick one. If you are interested in Fuck Me or Paris Nights, I will be giving these away. Now, you have to be okay with the perfumes being a little bit used, but there's no sense in me hoarding these, and I have the ones that I like, the ones I'm gonna be purchasing, so I thought it'd be nice to give these to someone. Let me know in the comments below which one you like and how I can reach you, and I will pick a winner, one of each, and they will get the scent and I will announce the winner in a week. So just give this video a like, be subscribed, let me know which of the two you are interested in, how I can reach you, and that is it. That will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys, bye.